number review, try these questions yourself when you've done them, then check the answers. Here's question 1, 2, 3, and 4. Question 1, we round both these numbers correct to one significant figure. So the top number we square root of 100, the bottom number is just 20, so the square root of 100 is 10, then you divide it by 20, so the answer is 1 half. Question 2a. First we add these two fractions. So adds plus photos equal to 1 quarter plus 2 fifths. Now cross multiply is 5 plus 8 divided by 20. Thus thirteen twenty. So therefore, the fraction for features is going to be one minus the total this thirteen over twenty. So the answer is twenty take over thirteen seven over twenty. Two B. First you work out total number of shares, that's 5 plus 3, which is 8, and you work out the value of each share, which is total is 24 divided by this total number of shares so the value is 3 and then photographs or sports photographs have 5 shares Times the value of each chair, so the answer is 15. Three A. So we let n equal to this recurring decimal, which is 0 0.318 recurring. So basically, just like this. Now, if we multiply this number by 1000, so 1000n, move the decimal 3 places to the right, it's 318, and then you got these decimals recurring. If we multiply this number by 10, then we're moving decimal just one place to the right, so it's 3.18 recurring. Then we subtract, we get 990 and equal to 315. Everything disappears, all the numbers after the decimals. Then 99n is 31.5. Times both sides by 2 we get 198n, 31.5 times 2 is 63. So therefore, n is 63 divided by 198. 
So recurring decimal note point three one eight recurring is the same as sixty three over one nine eight. Anything raised to the power zero is one. This is same as writing one over twenty fifth to the power three over two, which is same as square root of twenty five. Then take the cube. So that's five cubit. Number four. So we got 2 raised to the power y times 3 equal to 48. Divide by 3, 2 raised to the y is equal to 16. So therefore 2 raised to the power 4 is 16, so y is 4. Now to find the largest cube, just find the highest common factor of these numbers. Thirty, twenty and fifteen. So the highest number can go into them is five. This is six, four and fifteen divided by five is three. Now three, four, six, they got nothing in common anymore. So the highest common factor is five. So therefore 